Hi everyone, my name's Hannah and I'm a Livestock Analyst here at the AHDB. Um, and I just want to take a couple of minutes to update you on the latest goings on in the UK cattle market. So if we start with prices, and it's no uh, secret really that averages have maintained their strong position um, over the last month or so. Um, we have continued to see tightness in cattle numbers um, coming forwards for slaughter compared to a year ago, which is uh, no doubt offering some underlying support to prices at the moment. To put some numbers behind this, the overall average GB deadweight price for steers uh, was 409.6 pence a kilo in the week ending the 16th of October, which is over 40 pence higher um, than it was at this point last year. Prime cattle prices have eased uh, in recent weeks a little, but they're still over half a penny um, above the five year average and so in a really strong position. Cow prices are also significantly higher than they were a year ago, despite now um, being on their seasonal downturn. We typically see more cows come forward for slaughter across the country at this time of year um, as we head towards the winter period uh, for housing. And it will be interesting to see how this progresses, considering where um, cull prices are at the moment and also where feed costs are um, and how that will affect uh, producers' decisions to cull. For context, the overall GB average deadweight price for cows was uh, 267.6 pence a kilo in the week ending the 16th of October, which is up nearly 30 pence uh, from this time last year. If we look at production, as I said, we are still seeing um, tighter numbers of cattle in the data at the moment. Um, and slaughter in September, based on DEFRA figures, was 5% lower than it was um, for the same month a year ago. For the year to September, a total of 667,000 tonnes of beef was produced in the UK, which uh, is 4% lower than it was for the same period in 2020. If we think ahead then for a moment and looking at data from the British Cattle Movement Service, the tightness in cattle supplies is still evident. Um, and so we expect that slaughter numbers will be lower year on year um, for the rest of 2021. Uh, which is in line with our uh, agri-market outlook that we produced in July. From a demand perspective, the Christmas buying period also starts around about now, um, so it's likely we will see um, some uplift in beef demand going forward. And, you know, coupled with this, uh, with this buying period and tightness in cattle supplies, this could point to strong prices being carried through for, uh, for the rest of the year. So that's all I've got time for at the moment. But if you want to find out more about uh, trends in beef markets, please head to our website um, where we've got lots of information about prices, production and trade. You'll also be able to sign up to our Cattle and Sheep weekly newsletter email um, for updates to your inbox every Friday. And if you've got a more specific question, please drop us an email at redmeat.mi at ahdb.org.uk.